Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel X Gen and Protein X. In my previous video series, I already talked about the antibody structure and antigen antibody binding, epitope and paratope. And additionally, I also showed how to find CDR1, CDR2, and CDR3 sequence of any antibody. So, in this tutorial video, I will mainly focus on how to find epitope sequence of any kind of antigen in molecular level so this video might be a little longer so if you watch this video till end so you can learn that how to find epitope sequence in details in molecular level so let's begin so for that you have to search one uh, database that is the iedb.org so this one this database is actually for epitope sequencing so this is the interface of this kind of database immune epitope database and analysis resource so here you can find several options so just from here this is the antigen just what you want what kind of antigen you can type here so for example i'd like to go for vgf that is the angiogenesis forming protein so here just have to go this one bgp and here you can choose the host and then search and it redirect to the result page so you can find this kind of page this kind of results so here these all are the epitope sequence and it based on different publication so these all are the publications so this is basically only one publication but different id there are, there are different kind of uh, publications and you can find here the different references so if you would like to read in details so you can go, this is a pubmed id so you can read those articles so for for now just i would like to go for some sequence so these all are the epitope sequence so for example i'd like to go for this one all right copy and just for reconfirmation i just uh, search in the ncbi blast ncbi pro protein blast so here just to reconfirm it that this is the right sequence of the vg or not just i'd like to show you so protein blast and here paste that sequence and then blast it then you will get uh, the information and additionally and additionally also i'd like to search in the pdb database so pdb database you can get uh, the pdb file so here i'd like to go for this one so advanced search and then you will get this kind of interface so you can choose the sequence here and then paste your desired sequence search it it's it's showing that at least 20 residues you need to search no problem just add some more amino acid no problem this additional amino acid not showing there it will not match so P L N that's okay no problem okay so is already this result appeared here so this alignment and if you go further this all are the kind of different kind of sequence that that matches with this kind of short sequence but I need to find our exact sequence exact uh, protein that we searched for so the, the protein that we search for that is the VGF so this is the right sequence so you see there are a lot of VGF so VGF P that we searched here right and these are the different kind of organisms but all are finding these are the right sequence that small sequence that is the right one no problem so we searched the right sequence of that VGF and here also if you go see there the crystal structure of the vascular endothelial growth factor B complex 
then neutralizing antibody FAV factors. So this is also the right sequence. So but from here, I'd like to get the crystal structure of the PDB file. So here, if you would like to read this paper in details, so you can read from here, search on PubMed. But if you go further, so you can get detailed information about that one. So this is the BGF, AV chains and uh, also some additional information but i'd like to uh, download the pdb file from here so pdb format so here i'd like to pgf so and then i'd like to open it in the pdb soft pdb software so open it then i would like to show you that that and the what exactly that sequence right so here it's already coming here so you see you can change from here that show as a cartoon so it's showing the cartoon it is easier to understand and then so here is a S, so you can see the sequence of this VGF. So from here you can get easily that small sequence that we searched for. So we found this one right BPLT to BPS, BPLT to BPS. So you can find here, uh, you see here that sequence is here. So BPLT to BPS that exactly the same sequence that we got here so this is the epitope of this protein vgf so you can change it you can select this level select uh, you can select this one rename selection so then you can this vgf epitope so we got that small sequence so you can label it you can uh, change uh, the so in that uh, manner of this representation uh, maybe this is already real cartoon so you can choose this one edge sticks and the color also you can change in a red so you see uh, this sequence this uh, red sequence this is that is the epitope you see here this is the epitope of this vgf so we can zoom it then you can understand more clearly so see here this is the right sequence of that epitope of that antigen all right so you can find any kind of antigen epitope sequence by this way and you can save it no problem so I hope this video will be helpful. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button, share it. And if you have any queries, kindly write in the comment section. And if you really like this video and if you find this video is really helpful, please and please subscribe my channel. Thanks.